everyone been going out and speaking their mind and protesting about the death of George Floyd. And we know as of now is grown to be much bigger than George Floyd, but they have been provocateurs that have been showing up. That is not from the community. We are seeing people that's vandalizing. We're seeing people who's coming out with tools. We're seeing the staging of bricks. We've seen all kinds of things happen. And then when the looting starts, then other people run in, get it started. And then if they see a black person, they say, Oh, look, the looters are looters, but they're not saying anything about these Muzungus who's out here doing this. You know, when they reference the Muzungu, they never reference to race. They call them anarchists. They call them um, out of towners. They call them far left. They call them far right. They call them radicals, but they never say Muzungu at all. They never say that. But when it comes to us, if we do anything, it's the whole black race. So even in their reporting, they're always weaponizing that against us. Now we're seeing all the, the chaos is going on all over the nation. And many people are seeing it. Even I've told you guys multiple times before those same people, the Mzungus, those most of male going out there, throwing things at the police to get the police to start doing things back. Just yesterday, even at the rally here in Houston, brother Sharif was there and he was even informing me about that, how you had Mzungus that was trying to do the same thing right here in Houston, trying to throw things at police, trying to get things started when everyone is being peaceful. Now, why isn't the narrative that about these Mzungus going out and trying to start things with the police or looting or breaking down uh, boards? They're never talking about any of that. They sit up there and they had a clip where a white woman was stealing and they said that, well, maybe she's an employee. We don't know. They never said about black people being an employee. It's just amazing how the reporting is so different, but the whole country is, is just on fire. And what I don't like about those Mzungu going out there doing that, they're cowards. And let me tell you why they're cowards. If they got any kind of issue with the government or whoever else they got an issue with, why are you trying to come out and do that when the black community is hurting, when the black community is in pain? Why are you trying to cloak yourself into that? You understand? Now all these other people that's coming out and doing all the looting and breaking down things. Why didn't you do that before? It's always when black people come out. That's when all these other groups wants to come out and do the dirt they're doing underneath the guise of what black folks are trying to fight for fight for justice. We're not fighting for haircuts. We're not fighting for massages. We're not fighting for any of that. Okay. So they were saying that on May the 30th, the Minnesota governor, he had blamed the chaos in Minnesota on outsiders. And I actually seen that. And he attributed to 80% of the damage being done by white supremacists and drug cartels, but they, he had to walk that back. That's what they say. He said, our great cities in Minneapolis, St. Paul under assault from people who do not share our values, who do not value life and the work that went into this and certainly not to honor George Floyd, of course. Now they're not there to, to honor George Floyd at all. These people, and you guys that do going to this protest, you have to watch out for these Mzungus. They are coming there to agitate. They're coming there to start trouble. They're coming there to uh, loot or try to open the door to looting. Cause I've seen them do that. They, they pull the boards off breaking windows. And then some of them will go in and some of them will duck out and leave. And then by the time the police show up and they over there now, Donald Trump will give them the order. Hey, just act like we in China now and just kick butt. Oh, that's a different video for a different day. But what I'm saying is you guys got to watch this. These guys are going out there protesting. You know, there's this one, uh, Mzungu that actually was trying to throw things at the cops and brothers hemmed him up and brought him and dropped him off to the police. So here you go. And they, they arrested the dude and they actually thanked the protesters for bringing him because you're trying to mess up the name of George Floyd for your nefarious reasons. So it's all going into everything else. Black folks not coming out there with all the Molotov cocktails, black folks not bringing all the tools out and they know this, they all know this. And yet they're not saying anything, but let this would have been black men would have come out with tools and putting pallets of bricks and had Molotov cocktails. They just had, they arrested two white females in New York for throwing Molotov cocktails at the cops, two of them plastered biggest day. 
but all oh, else quiet. Let that been two black women who have been trying to throw the Molotov cocktails at the cops. It'd have been, oh my God, it'd have been all over the place. So in the degeneracy, they still turn away from their own. This is why it is important for you who are out there to film these folks what they're doing, film the Mazungus when they doing things and post that social media because that's the only way the truth will go out because you depending on them. They're not going to show that or if they do show it, it's going to be an excuse for it. Like always, you know, they do something it's some mental illness. You know, they, they kill about 30 people and it's mental illness. You know what I'm saying? And, but I got to give it to them. I mean, they, they stay on code about their own. I mean, we have to learn how to do the same thing as well. Stay on code and use their own tactics for us. So if somebody in our community do something, well, they got mental illness too. Or we don't know what happened before the footage happened. How do you, we know you didn't do him anything or her anything. You know what I'm saying? Just use their own tactics as, as Killmonger said so eloquently. But I don't want us being blamed. Even though I know some people say, Phil, they're going to blame us regardless. Well, let them lie but I don't want nothing to be a truth because of what these Mazungus are doing out there. And, and now y'all catching them and y'all, you know, confronting them, which is great, but please keep an eye on them because they're sitting up there doing all kinds of crap. And then they want to try to put the blame on us. No, that would not happen. As long as black media is around, it's not going to happen. They're the one that's starting all the escalation. They're the ones starting the looting. They're the ones starting the fires and burning down buildings. It's not us. But leave me a comment. Let me know what think about the situation about these Mazungus are coming out in the protest, trying to amp things up, throw things at cops. Listen, you got to record them and you have to deal with them accordingly. Cause see, this is what happened guys. You've allowed those Mazungus to come in and hijack what you're doing. And they're making it about what they want at this point. That's what they're doing. They're, it's not about the brother and, and what happened in a lot of this. They are sitting up there doing the most and then they want to back off. Don't let them do that.